So the big news of the day, or closer to about a month and a half ago, trizepatide has officially been approved for diabetes management by the FDA. I know, as per usual, I am bringing you all of the breaking news stories as they happen. But before we dive into that, you beautiful people, my name is Dr. Dan. I am a pharmacist turned obesity expert, and I, of course, need you to hit the subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date on all my freaking videos and help to pump up my self-esteem and make me feel good about myself at the end of the day. As well, check me out on my other channels at the official Dr. Dan. We're on the tick, the talk, the gram, you name it, we are out there. As well, check out our website, healthevolved.co. Again, that's dot C-O-O as in Ozempic. Check it out there and you can get some new resources around weight management as well. You can book a free consult with myself if you are struggling with your weight management journey. So, trizapatide is made by the drug company Eli Lilly. Now, like I said, it is similar to Wagovi Saxenda Ozempic. And what I mean by that is that it has the GLP-1 receptor agonist component, but it also has another component added on. And this is called a glucose-dependent insulin-tropic polypeptide, or GIP, G-I-P. So it's a GLP-GIP. So essentially what this means is the molecule has the power of the GLP-1 in not only reducing your blood sugar levels and helping to reduce your food-seeking behaviors, your appetite, and that sort of thing, like Wagovi and Saxenda, but with this GIP component, it seems to have a synergistic effect that enhances that food-seeking behavior decrease, that appetite decrease, and that blood sugar lowering effect as well. And this is obviously going to produce greater reductions in blood sugar and in weight loss. And in fact, in a head-to-head -head trial called the SURPASS-2 trial, they took all three doses of trizepatide, a 5 milligram, 10 milligram, and 15 milligram dose in three pens, which you inject once weekly, compared it against Ozempic 1 milligram once weekly, and what they found is that all three doses of trizepatide had greater reductions in blood sugar and also led to a greater amount of weight loss compared to Ozempic 1 milligram once weekly. Again, as a reminder, Ozempic has semaglutide, and semaglutide is the same molecule that is in Wagovi. Needless to say, the results of the SURPASS-2 trial were pretty impressive, and that is just the beginning of the data that's going to start coming out around trizepatide and its use in weight loss and further use in diabetes management. So another reason to hit the subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date as I create the videos around that. But it's really going to give Ozempic and Wagovi a run for their money. But enough about that. If trizepatide or Mongero, Mongero, whatever, is approved for diabetes management by the FDA, what exactly does that mean? Well, in the U.S. at least, it means that trizepatide will be available in U.S. pharmacies in the very near future. However, it will only technically be available for individuals that have type 2 diabetes. So that means if you want it to be covered by your insurance company, you are going to have to have type 2 diabetes. Your primary care provider is going to have to prescribe it for you. And you're likely going to have to fill out some 30 odd pages of special auth forms in order to even get it covered. Now, if you don't have diabetes and you are just struggling with your weight, not to worry in the very near future, it will likely be getting the approval for obesity weight management as well. All of those studies are in the process of being completed. The data is all being collected. And once those are done, it will be submitted to the FDA for approval. And at that point, it will then have the indication for obesity. And hopefully, most insurance companies will be providing coverage for it. In the meantime, if your primary care provider is up to date on the evidence and such like that, they might provide it off-label to you. So still write the prescription, even though it doesn't have the indication for weight management quite yet by the FDA and Health Canada but they may still write the prescription for you so that you can fill it at a pharmacy. It just will not be covered by your insurance company and you will probably have to pay out of pocket for it. So speaking of costs, based on a Medscape article that I found, it looks like a one month supply of trizepatide will be pretty on par with a one month supply of Ozempic. So a one month supply of Ozempic in the US is approximately a thousand plus dollars per month. And in Canada here, it's about $230, $200, $230 per month here in Canada. So if that is the case, it is likely going to be cost prohibitive for most people in both countries if you have to pay out of pocket for it. Now, trizepatide hasn't technically been approved here in Canada yet. It will be very soon, I suspect. 
Usually Health Canada is about six or so months behind the FDA, so it shouldn't be too much longer. Sometime late 2022, I suspect that trizepatide will get the approval for diabetes management here in Canada. In the meantime, I hope that gives you the lowdown on trizepatide or Mountgero, however you want to call it. That should give you enough of the details for right now, but stay tuned as I will be putting out more content around this molecule as we learn about it and as more studies are produced. And of course, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. And as always, you beautiful people, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future episodes as well. Check me out on my other channels at the official Dr. Dan. I'm on the tick, the talk, the gram, you name it, I am out there. So be sure to come and check it out. Would love to hear from you. And further, if you need help on your weight management journey, check out our website, healthevolved.co. Again, that's healthevolved.co, O is an Ozempic. Come and check us out. You can book a free consult with myself to see if you are a good fit for our program. And until next time, you beautiful people, always remember, small tweaks lead to massive peaks.